<clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a very fun one because I got new supplies to play with. So I got stampers, new stampers, I got some new tape. And I got some new sticker books. So that's going to be what is in store for us today. It's going to be really fun. So let's not waste any more time. And let's get started. While I go back and grab a glue stick. Oh. Oh. So I hope... You have been having a wonderful end of school time, end of work time. It's very close to summer. I'm very excited. I only have a few more. I think I have like two and a half more weeks of work and then I'm done. Which I love. I love that. Although, I will be changing it up next year as I will be going back to school. And I will be quitting this next job. So, I don't really have a plan, full plan for this one. Um, so we're just going to go with the flow. And see how this one turns out. The theme is spring, so old school spring, spring, I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. So I think, I think I'm going to start with gluing all of these down and... Stuff I cut out, which was only two things, but like they're gonna add, so that's gonna be fun. Let's make sure this glues all the way up. Oh, I also have the background all set, so I got some new paper, and so that's gonna give a more cool background um, for this spring themed video <sighs> I actually like spring spring is one of my favorite favorite time of the years besides summer um, winter is never my gonna be my favorite unless it's a winter activity which is like ice skating and such This is proving difficult. Hold on, give me a second. I might have to use this one just cause. Alright, spread that. Okay. Hopefully that stays down now. Um, yeah, so it's almost the end of my work time, which will be nice. It'll be nice. This year has been way too rough way too rough for teachers in general but we've had a lot to deal with since um or was like since covid since c since whatever whatever since covid because a lot of the sites for where i work got shut down one of them closed, and so we had to take in those kids. And so it became a little more hectic than usual. But 
I mean, it, it was a thing to adapt to, so we kind of have good adapting skills, but it's just, it's one of the reasons I'm probably, it's one of the reasons I am leaving, um, because that was way too much to deal with right away, um, and, you know, working there these past two, one, two and a half years, it's been very difficult to, you know, it's been showing me that I'm not really good at what I thought I was going to be good at, which is working with kids. I mean, I do a good job, but like, you have to be doing a bit better of a job as a teacher, and it's proven that I can't really do that very well as I thought I could. I mean, I work well still with children, but there's a lot more than just making sure the children are okay when it comes to teaching and all that, and it's, it just proved a lot harder than, especially this year, it was a lot harder than my first few years. I may have gotten everything down now, which took a while, too long of a while, that I'm surprised I didn't get fired. But it's just, that was just a lot to deal with, which was not fun. Anyway, let's move on <laughs> from that topic and talk about what I have in store for me next time, which will be next, next time, oh my god, uh, what I have planned for me next, which is going back to school. I've already applied and got into one of the Western programs and it's going to give me, I have applied for one of the digital areas. So that's going to give me more practice with digital marketing and digital art and photography and all that and stuff I'm really interested in. So that's going to be nice. What I have in mind when coming out of it is to either, I either plan on getting an apprenticeship and maybe uh, doing something with photography and how to make a business like that. That's one of the routes. The other routes I could probably take is going to a company that works in like areas like um, drawing for stories. I could apply to one of those. Um, if I get better at my drawing skills, uh, what else, what else can I do? Uh, could probably, like, do comic strips, go to one of those companies and do a comic strip and draw and write those stories. Or I can make this a full-time thing and do more digital stuff that you've seen on my channel. Okay. Isn't this cute? I love it. This is turning out actually pretty nice. Actually looks really cool. Yep. So yeah, that's what I have in mind. For my next journey. Hopefully I can build a career off of it. And if anything, if I can't do that, I can fall back on my um, degree that I have right now, which is an associate's degree, I believe, or 
being a teacher assistant. So I can fall back and maybe find a better job for that. Maybe. Because I'm pretty sure the reason I'm not liking where I'm right, right now, besides seeing that maybe I'm not as good with working with children, is probably the environment I'm in. It's very different than what I've been in before. But I mean, it's not, it's not fully environment. I know that I still have a lot to learn and do. It's just too much right now. Oh my gosh. That is, that is being annoying. in my chair. we go. <sighs> yeah, so I have a lot in store for my future. What in the, oh my gosh. I've been noticing it takes me forever to find the beginning of tape. And it's tape I've been using. gonna use that tape. So I think next we'll probably go in with this sticker tape and put some flowers around and then we'll use that stamper and then then we'll use this book.
and it's going to be filled with more springy type flowers. I don't, I don't know how to edit that out, so just deal. Edit that out. Get it out. I like these cool leaves that it has. You'll see on the paper um, the cool leaves it has. Next we'll go in with these spring stampers. So that's what it's looking right now. I'll do the rest. Here, you're gonna go right here for right now. Otherwise, too far. Are we gonna get a dragonfly? We're we gonna get more flowers. Ooh, one of them's a snail. That's gonna be cute. I think we'll do one more. Ooh, one's a sunflower. That's gonna be super cute. Ooh, these turned out cute. Ooh. Okay, we'll do one more because one's a butterfly. I like that. Put it by the other butterfly. Oh, super cute. I'm glad I picked out these. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to choose a ideal word that hopefully coincides with spring. Ooh. And we'll, we'll probably do a few. Because that's all so cute.
Yeah, they're all so funny. Hmm. <laughs>